Boys and girls, welcome to Chapel. 3B has worked really hard to put together a little video for you guys. We're just teaching a little bit more on the bread of life that 5A taught us last week. I hope you're gonna enjoy it, and I hope it doesn't make you too hungry. I'm excited about my mid-morning snack. So am I, what did you bring? I've got banana bread. That sounds good, I got pumpkin bread. Let's clear our desks and take out your snack. Wow, I see an awful lot of bread out there today. I used to see you guys bring in healthy snacks like fruit or cheese sticks. What happened to those? Remember the cooking show from last week? Yeah, fifth grade taught us that Jesus is the bread of life. Let's eat bread. I want Jesus in my heart, so I'm gonna eat as much bread as I can. Hmm. I'm glad you guys were paying such good attention during chapel last week. 5A did a great job showing us um, how to bake bread with their cooking show. I loved it. But it's good to eat bread because it does satisfy our physical hunger. But does it keep you from getting hungry forever? No ma'am, I guess it won't. I'll have to eat a lot of bread to not be hungry anymore. That's why I brought more bread for lunch. Me too. I have a sandwich with bread and a muffin for dessert. All right, it sounds like you guys have some delicious lunches for today. But remember 5A also taught us that Jesus explained in the Bible that only He can satisfy us forever. We have to have a relationship with Christ in order to have that eternal life and that bread of life and live forever. The crowds earnestly looked for Jesus and finally found him on the other side of the Sea of Capernaum. Just the day before, Jesus had miraculously fed all of them with only a couple loaves of bread and some fish, and while it had satisfied them at the time, they returned to him hungry. But this is why they sought Jesus so desperately, not for who he was, but because he had amazed them at what he had done. The miracle reminded them of the days of Moses, when the nation of Israel was nourished daily with bread from heaven. Perhaps Jesus, like Moses, could usher in a new age for their people. Jesus spoke to the crowd, You worked so hard to find me, but only so you could ask me for bread that satisfies a short while. Why aren't you looking for the bread that will satisfy you forever? Bread that satisfies forever? Many in the crowd began to wonder how they could get this miraculous bread from God. They asked Jesus, What works of God must we do in order to get this bread? Jesus replied, I am sent from God. Believe in me. But the crowd searched for a sign and questioned Jesus. Yes, you multiplied bread and fed thousands, but Moses brought down bread from heaven and fed millions. What great work will you do that will demonstrate that you are greater than Moses? Jesus said, You must hear me and understand this. Moses did not give you the manna. My father gave it to you. And now he has sent to you the bread of life that I speak of. The expressions on the faces that looked back at him were mixed, 
some skeptical, some hopeful, and others simply eager to hear as they said, please give us this bread always. The crowd waited intently for his answer. Then Jesus announced, I am that bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst again. He spoke of his body as bread and his blood as wine. The suggestion of sacrifice disturbed and confused numbers of people who would not receive his words. In fact, many who had been following Jesus walked away from him on that very day. Jesus turned to the apostles and asked, Will you leave me as well? Peter spoke up for the others. Lord, where else would we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. Oh, so I just need to accept Jesus in my heart to have the bread of life? I'm so glad I don't have to eat bread all the time. I think I'll just stick with grapes for my snack tomorrow. Yeah, I, would wor I was worried. I'd get tired of eating bread all day, every day. I'm so glad we had this talk today. I think I'll gr bring a granola bar tomorrow instead. I think I'll stick with fruit or vegetables for my snack. Me too. Can we pray now and thank Jesus for being the bread of life? Dear Jesus, thank you for being the bread of life. Please bless our snack. We love you. Amen. bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger. Whoever believes in me shall never thirst. John 6.35 Hey guys, will you just pray with me real quick? Dear Heavenly Father, I just come to you this day and I pray that um, I just thank you for the school you have given us and the students in Miss Van Dusen School. And um, I just pray that all the kids can have an amazing day. And um, I pray that they can get um, a good grade on their test. And in your name we pray, amen. Um, hi guys, have a great day. Bye.